Hi friends, and going with our insect week, we um, read a book about caterpillars and butterflies on Monday. So today we're gonna read a book about a ladybug. This is called The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carl. Now our ladybugs don't look like this right now. This is an adult ladybug. Our ladybugs um, don't really look like this. They're very tiny and they're mostly black. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left and it saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right and it saw the aphids and it too wanted them for breakfast. So aphids are tiny little bugs that live on leaves and the ladybugs eat the bugs. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you go pick on someone bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew away. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. That's another type of insect. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle, another insect. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis, which is another insect. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. You're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. So a sparrow is a bird, it's not an insect. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. You notice all of the animals he's running into keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and he keeps saying you're not big enough but look how tiny he is compared to this lobster at 11 o'clock it bumped into a skunk hey you said the grouchy ladybug want to fight if you insist said the skunk starting to lift its tail oh you're not big enough anyways and so the grouchy ladybug and flew off at 12 noon it spotted a boa constrictor hey you said the grouchy ladybug want to fight if you insist said the snake right after lunch Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Well, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Well, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? Said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, if you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, well, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. Look, now he's got an elephant. Look how tiny he is compared to the elephant. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusk. Oh, well, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? But the whale didn't answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. And at 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you, want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived back right where it started from. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. 
Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. You're welcome. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You're welcome, answered the both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. And the fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. Today I want you to draw a picture and tell me something that makes you grouchy. I get grouchy when I am hungry or I get grouchy sometimes when um, my kids don't listen the first time. So tell me something that makes you grouchy. Draw a picture and send it to me. Can't wait to see it. Love you guys. Bye.